At one of the world's biggest auction houses, preparations are underway for a super high-end art sale. Some of the world's finest impressionist, modern and contemporary pieces will go up for auction. But the star of the show, this piece by Italian artist and painter Modigliani, painted nearly a century ago, it's considered his greatest work from his iconic series of nudes. At the May 14th auction, the opening bid is set at $150 million. There are only three artists whose work have sold at auction for more than $150 million. Um, Modigliani, Picasso, and Da Vinci. So he's in a rarefied category. May is the pinnacle of the art buying season. Just here at Sotheby's in this gallery, they have more than 700 pieces of art that will be auctioned. Total value, more than $700 million. But on the other side of New York, the other end of the art spectrum, it's called the Bridge Art Fair, and it takes itself a lot less seriously. And all the works sell for a few hundred dollars or less. It's meant to give a platform to emerging artists who are often ignored by big galleries and auction houses. Like this young artist who said she was surprised when she got a call to display her work here. Usually I would have to have prior connections to other people in galleries to be able to exhibit my work. But she was just like, no, you don't have to know anyone. You could just send me your work and stuff. And I was like, oh, cool. OK, yeah. The fair is also meant to give encouragement to artists who might otherwise feel intimidated in the New York art scene. At a time when the city is gearing up for more headline-grabbing sales, an art show that caters for those who don't have a few extra million dollars laying around. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, New York.